Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will talk about the set modifiers. So set modifiers are used to make addition or changes to a selection and modifiers begin and end with the angle brackets. So let's see the examples. So here if you see over here you have order date is equals to delivery date within the angle brackets right so this is the ending bracket and this is the starting bracket and within that we are modifying the calculation to basically ask how many orders are there which have been delivered on the same date on which it has been ordered so that's the explanation written over here let's see another example so here we are saying that uh, give us the sale only for the region US and disregard all the selection by as we have uh, passed on the identifier 1. Similarly over here we are saying that give, give us the uh, sales for the current selection but disregard the selection into the region. That means whatever selection you will make in the region will not be considered. Let's see another example. So this example is same as above. The only difference is that dollar sign has not uh, is not present here, which is uh, basically indicating that it is a default option. If you specify, okay. If you don't specify, then also the current selections will be considered. And in this next example, a bit of an advanced where we are saying within the modifiers that we want the sale for year 2000 and for any region which is starting with u so that's a wild card we have uh, presented and if you see it is doing a bit of a search and that search string is present in the double quotes the u star so this will give you all the values for year 2000 and the region which is starting with u as well as whatever current selection uh, that you will make so that's the quick uh, quick explanation about set modifiers and some of the examples and modifiers are the one which are heavily heavily used uh, within the uh, set analysis within the click sense applications for the production of the analysis and uh, in the next video i will talk about uh, some of the examples that we have discussed here into the practical scenario so that's pretty much it for now and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic